Building in Minecraft is a great relaxing way to create art, but oftentimes it can be slow and painful to create works of art. So here are 10 things you can do to speed up the building process. Number 10 is insane. This is an unsuspecting one, and it might not help you save time, but it will help save your hands. And this is something that you should absolutely be doing um, because having your hands is, well, rather important. And if you want to avoid carpal tunnel in your early 20s, then this is what you should be doing instead of uh, breaking every single block and then placing that block back if you want to change it. So if you want, basically, you can use BR sphere, whatever block you want, and then 0.1. And what that will do is you can just hold down your mouse button now, and it will automatically replace it with whatever block you'd like. Number two is an incredible time saver that even professional builders don't often know. Let's say you want to replace all these copper slabs, but the ID is really, really long. That's five words that you'd have to type out if you want to replace this. Instead, what you can do is you can do slash slash replace hand, whatever block you're holding in your hand will automatically get replaced with whatever block you put in the second slot and voila, now I've replaced the entire thing and it's so much simpler. Finding inspiration on Google or Pinterest or Discord servers can be very helpful and oftentimes you can use it to find some very good looking builds, but oftentimes the wide range of quality and the wide range of themes tends to, well, make you come up lacking in many, many regards due to the fact that, well, oftentimes you don't find what you're looking for. So what I suggest is make yourself a private discord and this way you can add all of the fancy little inspiration things that you find around the internet. That way the quality is what you're looking for and you kind of know what is in there. And so if you're like, oh, I want some mushrooms or I'm looking for some structure, then you can find that a lot easier and save you time. One thing still shocks me to this day, and it's the complete underutilization of command macros. It can do so many things for you, it's absolutely insane. If you want a wand, then it can give you a wand. If you want to be able to uh, copy and then paste something and then paste it again and then paste it again or rotate it and then paste it and then rotate it and paste it again, then it's as easy as that. You can also undo, you can undo again, you can undo again and you don't have to uh, do such a one. You don't have to do undo constantly. All of these commands that you do thousands and thousands and thousands of times, you can just do with a single click of the button and it's significantly faster and it's, well, significantly easier. Assets are an incredibly useful, versatile way to speed up your building and I'm surprised that more people don't use it more. Builders Utilities is a quality of life plugin that it basically allows you to do things that aren't normally allowed in vanilla, but just kind of makes sense when you're building like opening or closing iron trap doors or being able to break um, double slabs just like that and it'll keep the top slab. It's really, really nice. Um, or in my favorite category is being able to shift and then right click terracotta and it'll automatically rotate for you so you don't have to spend a bunch of time figuring out what orientation you need to be in. Um, it also does a few extra things like being able to toggle night vision instantly, doing no clip, which basically means that if you uh, hit a wall, it'll automatically put you into spectator mode, which is really helpful if you're like inspecting builds or something like that. And then of course you have the uh, advanced fly, which basically just stops you instantaneously. The second you um, stop pressing W, which really does help um, for the people who are more used to bedrock and stuff like that. Um, but of course, you can just toggle all of those off really easily um, using the Builder's Utilities uh, menu. Personalized mods are another very underutilized thing in the building world. And I'm going to just show you a few that make my life easier um, every single day. Um, so there's a mod called Bobby, and basically allows you to set your render distance up to 64, which is really, really helpful when you're working on massive projects and you just want to see the whole scope without having to get them rendered just to see if they look good. Um, and you can do with this with shaders. Obviously, you're going to need a very, very powerful computer to do this. Um, 
I wouldn't recommend being in a high render distance all the time because it does strain your computer quite a bit. But if you just wanna get a good scope on what your build looks like, it is absolutely ideal. The most OP mod that I currently have is Xeros Minimap. And it is absolutely insane. Whether you're building or playing in survival, it is a beautiful, beautiful tool that allows you to see where all of your builds are zooming in and zooming out. You'll basically never have to lose a build ever again because once you load into the chunks, you can see it forever. It's just a very, very good organizational tool. But what's even better is you can click right here and then teleport to any build instantaneously and you don't have to spend hours flying like I've done over my entire Minecraft career. I will just show you my entire mod list so you can basically recreate it one for one, but I would always suggest doing what's best for you. If you would like this exact mod pack, you can join my Discord in the description below and go into my building resources and there's a link to the media fire download there. We all know the frustration of placing signs, escaping, placing signs, escaping, etc. Especially when you accidentally uh, leave an S or an A or D or whatnot on the sign, you have to get rid of it and replace it. Well, I am here to tell you that your woes are completely over with signs. You don't even need a mod. Just do control and middle mouse click, and you can see that it'll put a identical sign in your inventory. But what's special about this one is it has an NBT tag, which means that it already has its uh, text preset, which means you can instantaneously um, place the sign without having to go in to the text menu, which is just so beautiful. I'm just, it's so beautiful. Something I see a lot is people trying to replace uh, slabs, stairs, fences, trapdoors, etc., cetera, um, by hand or having to do the long-winded commands or just having to place it by hand, which takes forever. So once they've placed all their little details, they're like, oh, I don't like that, and then they can't really change it. But I'm telling you, again, your woes are officially solved with the plugin Archeon. You can do slash TR, and you can simply select the block you want, and then select what block you want it to be changed to. Um, this works with fa, with an undo, etc., and you can change it to pretty much everything. I'm not sh doing this to an obvious enough color, so I'm just gonna go to purple. And as you can see, it changes literally everything instantaneously. I'm telling you, I use this on a daily basis. It is so, so OP, it's unbelievable. And thank your lucky stars because there is a version for color to called CR, stands for color replace, and you can simply take two uh, color blocks and you can change them to whatever color you want. It works instantaneously, it's amazing, it's wonderful. I don't know why someone didn't think of this earlier. Last but not least is the thing that has saved me more time than everything else combined. It is the thing that I cannot live without, and it is my auto clicker. I am telling you, it is amazing, it is wonderful. There is literally no words to tell you how incredibly powerful an auto clicker can be when you're building. It makes life 10 times easier. It is literally the main reason why I made this entire video. It's because I'm telling you, if you're a professional builder, you should be getting this because if you're not, you're literally cheating yourself out of hours of potentially wasted time. It is just amazing. That's, that's all I'm going to say about it. Anyway, I thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something new today that can help you speed up your building. Anyway, guys, super simple, super easy. Peace.